besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana and I run a candle business by the name of So Yaya for you guys who are new here. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you guys through how I make my bubble candles that I have up on my website, the trendy bubble candles that you see all over social media. And if you are interested in knowing how to make those, just continue to watch. I'm going to show you guys all the material that you're going to need to make these trendy bubble candles. I'm going to need the trendy bubble molds and I just get these from Amazon. They do not come like this, you guys. I cut them because once you try to demold these, they're so hard to come apart. So they actually do come like this, but I cut them up so that it just makes the demolding process a lot easier on me. You're going to need your fragrance oil. I'm going to be using this two ounce peppermint scent from Midwest Fragrance Company. You guys know that I love them so much. I literally always talk about them. So um, Midwest, if you see this, contact info is down in the description box. Like you guys, I love them. This is not sponsored. If you haven't already shopped with Midwest, definitely go give them a try because every scent that I give from, get from them is honestly a hit. You're going to need your thread. Use This is actually your wick that you're gonna be using and you're gonna weave that through the bubble mold. I'm gonna be using the double boiling method uh, process today. I know you guys know that I usually just use the Presto pot, but for today's purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using that because I already have some stuff in the Presto pot and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like cleaning that out. So I'm gonna go revert back to my old school way. Nothing wrong with this way at all. And then I'm going to be using Hairline Wax is just soy wax. Um, and I got this wax from Nature's Garden, I believe. Hairline Wax is just a one container wax. It means that the wax can stand alone on its own and it's just a more harder wax. So it's much easier to mold to things. Um, so that's, we're gonna be using that. And then these little boxes here is what I got to put the um, bubble candles in. I actually don't really like these. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more rigid on them, but this actually just printed like that. So I don't really know how I feel about that. So I do have some sticker paper that I'm probably gonna use my Cricut and just like, right like so y'all y'all on it or something like that but i have to try to dress that up a little bit more because i really don't like that then we have our formulas and that's really it you guys um i did want to walk you guys through the formulas just really quickly here um for one cavity or for one bubble candle it's, it's 5.4 ounces you guys know that i convert everything over to grams so that's going to be 153 grams of wax and fragrance oil that's going to be able to fill this entire bubble cavity so you have to um figure out what percentage of fragrance oil that you're going to be using and today i'm going to be using 10 percent so i know that once you do your formulas and if you do not know how to figure out the net weight of any of the products that you are using like let's say for instance that you're doing body cavity candle you're gonna need to make sure to get the net weight all you do is sit it on your scale fill it up with wax no fragrance oil or anything just fill it up with wax watch the scale and that's going to tell you exactly the fill weight of what it is and then you'll go back and add in your percentages of fragrance oil and that's how you're going to get the breakdown if you have no idea what i'm talking about just make sure you go watch my video on how to calculate your candle formulas and that's going to be able to walk you through all of the steps um so I'm going to be using 153 grams um, of wax and fragrance oil. So the breakdown of that is, I believe, 139 grams of wax and then 14 grams of fragrance oil. And that's for one cavity. And if you're doing multiple, if you're doing two, three, four, then you know to just times that number by two, three, four, or however many that you're doing. Um, I wanted to also tell you guys like this little trick too. I know for a lot of people like still like calculating and all that stuff is a little bit harder for them. So this is a two ounce bottle of fragrance oil. So I know that this is going to be able to fill up four cavities. If it was one ounce, it would have been able to fill up two. So all you do is double that number or times it by two. So one ounce is equal to 28 grams of fragrance oil. So that's going to be able to fill two because I told you guys that 14 is for one candle. So two is going to be 28. And all I did was times that number by two. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much, but just in case I did, I'll just walk you through the steps and we'll get right into it.
first things first is I'm just gonna cut that off because that is all right you're gonna take your needle take your thread and you're just gonna weed it through like that go ahead and loosen it up some so that way you're not constantly having to unweed it and so all you do is you take your bubble mode and I have already poked holes in all of these multiple times so some of them have become like a little bit bigger and so the wax may seep through that so you want to be extremely careful when you're doing these because they don't last very long at all. And so the reason why we weave through the bottom instead of what you would consider the top is because once you demold these, this is considered the top of the candle. So you will have to weed it through the bottom. And so it's super easy. All you do is go through like that. You'll pull your thread through and you'll just pull it through like that like so like that and then you'll just make sure you leave some of it like this so that you're able to cut it off and then make sure you you leave some on this end as well don't cut it up too short because at the end i know some people like to kind of tie it and put little cute little things on there so i personally like to tie mine and then i put like a little personalized tag so yeah yeah tag or i think this year i may do the scent but i don't know because that is a lot of extra work so i'm not sure yet but just make sure you leave some space and so that is how one of the bubble molds look when the wick is weeded through so i'm just going to do it for the other three So that is how all four cavities look when they have been threaded. And another thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is I like to make sure, just get an old towel. These are just the old little microfiber towels that I've had from the beginning of time that I like to use. Um, but make sure that when you place these molds, they are on a towel. You don't want to place them onto just a flat surface because it's going to cause the top of your mold to be flat once you go to demold it. So you want to make sure you're just giving it a little levitation and so the towel just works perfectly. And then also too, with that towel, you're protecting whatever surface that you're using because sometimes, you know, like I said, these have been used multiple times. So the the wax does sometimes seep through just with the holes being constantly pierced they are becoming a little bit bigger than what they were originally so that towel definitely serves two purposes we were right on the money at first <laughs> all right so we got our 556 grams of wax it's actually 560 but that's okay it may pour over but that's why you have to be a little bit cautious about that. I can pour just a little bit of it out just to see, but it's not really necessary. You can just, I don't like to wet, waste any wax. All right, so we got it to 554, so that's good. We'll just go with that. All right, and so remember, we don't need to measure out our fragrance oil on the scale because this is two ounces and this is gonna be able to, fill 10% fragrance load for the four body candles. So we're good with this. Go ahead and stick our porn picture in there. All 
right, you guys, so I'm gonna let the wax heat to about 185 and then I'm gonna let it cool down to about 170 and then I'll add my fragrance oil in about 160-ish to 165. And I feel like that just works best. In the candle world, a lot of this stuff is like optimal. Of course, you wanna go with whatever they suggest like from the manufacturer that you get the wax from but that doesn't always work for everyone so you're just gonna have to play around with it you can use the formulas that i'm giving you and see if that works for you but this is just what works for me i'll show you guys that when we're ready to pour Yeah. And this is a good example to show you guys what eventually happens to the hole once you know you've pierced it so many times it definitely gets larger so as you can tell that this one the wax seep through the bottom and so this one is just not as pretty and that's okay because you're not gonna have a perfect one every single time oh see <laughs> and it's breaking apart but this one would definitely be perfect to put into my wax melter. So nothing goes to waste around here. It's definitely a little bit harder to get out too because that wax is like stuck onto the cap here. We're gonna get it out one way or another. <laughs> 